So this is what we made in HTML, but it's not quite the way we really want it to look. Okay, that's more like it. Now let's start working on the CSS. CSS is all about selecting the tags we made in our HTML file and applying styles to it. CSS styles, that is. When writing the CSS, it's in good practice to select the tags in the order in which they appear. That's why the first tag we'll select is the body tag. With your main.css file selected, and if you want, you can have your live preview on, we're going to start working on the body tag. We're going to make the font Arial, and we're going to say that it's sans serif. And the background color is going to be a light gray. We're going to make the wrapper have a maximum width of 960 pixels. We're going to center the entire wrapper by writing margin zero auto. We're going to make the background color white and we're going to add a padding to the entire wrapper that's 32 pixels all around. So top, bottom, left, right. For the header, we're going to make the background a nice turquoise color, set the height to 150 pixels, add four pixels of padding all around the header. To set the h1 tag within the header, transform the text to uppercase. We're going to align the text to the center of the page. We're going to make the color of the text white. Make a line height of 50 pixels. That way the text is centered within the header. So to style the h2 tag, make the font small caps applying the font variant property. We're going to align the text to the center and we're going to make the color of the font white. Now lastly, to style the main menu, we're going to add padding, align the text to the center of the page, and we're going to add a line height of 32 pixels to once again center the text in the middle. Make the background color of the navigation a dark gray. We're going to add a style to the unordered list tag, add the property margin top. Let's set the margin to 15 pixels. Okay, so to style the main menu's list items, which are the actual links that are within the navigation bar, set the display property to inline. We're going to add some paddings, 10 pixels on the left and right hand side. And then we're going to set the font size to 20 pixels. To style the main menu's links, so those are the hyperlinks within the A attribute, the A hair. Set text decoration to none, so there's no underline. We're going to color the font to white. Add 8 pixels of padding and change the font to small caps by setting the font variant property. Lastly, do add a bit of uh, spunk to the menu. Add the A hover suedo class when we roll over the menu. And we're going to make the hover color the same turquoise color as the header background. Okay, that's it. We're finished everything. Part 1 and Part 2. We've done our HTML. We've just finished our CSS. Your menu and header looks amazing. Tweak it if you want, change it up a little bit. Maybe add a background image instead of a color. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Good luck.